Okay, so this week in class, we've been talking about solving equations that had the variable on both sides of the equation. And today, we're going to introduce you to equations that still have the variable on both sides, but now you can have some fractions in your equation, or you might have some decimals in your equation. And I don't want you to panic, because what we're going to show you how to do, one way we can solve these, is to eliminate the fractions and the decimals. And that's what we're going to have you do today. So, let's start with a fraction problem. If you notice, we have over here 6 plus 4 fifths b equals 9 tenths b. The trick to eliminating fractions is you need to find the least common multiple of your denominators. So what's the lowest common multiple of 5 and 10? The number that they both go into would be 10. They both go into 10. So we're going to clear the fractions by multiplying everything on both sides of the equation by 10. Remember, if we multiply both sides of the equation by the same non-zero number, the equation is still true. So, let's go ahead and do this. 10 times 6, remember you're using the distributive property. Everything inside the parentheses is getting multiplied by the 10. So, 10 times 6 is 60. And when we do 10 times 4 fifths b, well, let's simplify. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice. 2 times positive 4b would give you a positive 8b. 10 times 4 fifths b is 8b. And you notice you've cleared your fraction. Same thing over on the right side of the equation. 9 tenths b times 10, put that 10 over 1. Simplify before you multiply, 10 goes into 10 once. And now I have 1 times 9b is 9b. And now we have another equation with the variable on both sides, but we've eliminated the fractions. Move the variable that has the least coefficient, since 8 is less than 9, we'll subtract 8b's from both sides. And we're left with 60 equals b. And you've solved that equation. Okay? To eliminate decimals, pretty much the exact same thing, only instead of multiplying by the least common multiple, you're going to multiply by a power of 10 to eliminate however many decimal places you need to clear. On the left side, we have 2.25t, two decimal places. Over here, we have 13.5t, only one decimal place. The greater number, though, is the two decimal places. Multiplying by 100 would move that decimal two places, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply everything on the left side of the equation by 100, and everything on the right side by 100. Okay, one more time with the distributive property. 100 times 2.25t is 225t. 100 times positive 5 gives me 500. Takes us to the equal sign. Same thing on the other side. 100 times 13.5t. Remember, we've got to move this two decimal places. That's going to give me 1350t. And 100 times a positive 14 is 1400. Okay, we still have a variable on both sides of this equation, so we're going to move the one that's got the least coefficient, which is the 225 t's. Leaves you with 500 equals, what do we got here? 1350 minus 225, that's going to give me 1125 t plus 1400. We're trying to get this t by itself, so we're going to subtract 1,400 from both sides of the equation. Negative 900 equals 1125t. That's 1125 times t. To undo multiplication, we're going to divide. Negative 900 divided by 1125 gives you a negative 0. 8, and your t is now by itself. So that is how you can solve an equation, clearing fractions or by eliminating decimals. Okay, these two problems came off of your homework tonight, so you got a few more to work on. 
Get practicing.